Hey, on Steam Culture, we're going to learn about porridge. Stay tuned. Please, sir, may I have some more? Porridge. Now, porridge is what my mom used to call it because she's English ancestry. I just call it oatmeal, but I used to eat the stuff every day in the winter because I grew up where the snow flies. Now, different kinds of oatmeal if you're an oatmeal eater, and if you're not, we'll give you an education here. Well, look, we got the quick one minute oats. We have the old fashioned oats, which take longer to cook. We have steel cut oats, lots of oats going on. Well, let me tell you something you need to know about oats. They have steam in their lineage in order to get to the old fashioned rolled oats part. But let me back up and tell you first how an oat is processed. Well, they come out of the field, like a lot of things. They uh, get cleaned then they get de-holed. You got to get that outside shell out. Then you're left with what's called a groat, G-R-O-A-T. And that's where the decision has to be made at that point. What kind of oats are you going to have? If you're going to have a steel cut oat, they're just going to chop that groat up into little itty bitty pieces. If you ever seen steel cut oats, they look like like little rocks and stuff like that. So that's just basically a chopped up groat. However, if you want a rolled oat, you have to take the grr out of the oat. Trust me on this. So when you, uh, when you need to do that, you have to understand this about oats. Oats actually have some kind of lipid or enzyme in them that make them uh, very unstable. They don't have a lot of shelf life. They'll actually go rancid. So the way they do that is they heat the oat up, or the groat, excuse me, up to about 215 degrees with live steam. And that actually um, stabilizes the oat so that they can now put it on a shelf. So again, I guess you could say they took the gur out of the oat. And then you have a, what's called a whole rolled oat, steamed and stabilized for the shelf for you. So listen, go make yourself some porridge. Go make yourself some oatmeal. Before you do that, stop by our website because we have content each and every week. We tell you things like, hey, Oatmeal has to be steamed first or it wouldn't last on the shelf very long. Now you know that. You could also go by and watch The Bowling Point and you could learn something very technical about what we do. Thanks for joining me. I will see you next week.